Can app. Well, there's been a new update that the federal government has released. This update includes information about requirements for the COVID-19 test that you have to take prior to coming to Canada. But it also, for those people that are arriving by air, it includes an area where you need to input the reference number for the hotel that you booked. Now, just for those that aren't aware, if you're coming to Canada by air, you need to stay at an approved hotel uh, at one of the four locations where you'll be arriving. That's Montreal, Toronto, Calgary, or Vancouver. You have to stay in one of those hotels for three days. It has to be at one of the approved hotels and you have to be able to write in the reference number for the booking. So anyway, let's go straight to the app. We'll start right from the beginning. There will actually be two sections to this video because there is an update to land access as well. So I'm going to do both. It's a bit of a long video. So if you're only interested in the arrival by air portion. If you go down to into the description of this video, you'll see a link that will forward you straight to that section. So once again, you can watch the whole thing if you want, but if you're only interested in the arrival by air section, just click that link in the description and it'll take you right to that spot. So let's get right to it. So you've downloaded the app, you click open, and it takes you to the initial splash screen. Very similar to the last one, click start, and you go to the privacy notice. Uh, it's important that you do read this, although it's a little bit wordy. Go to the bottom and you're able to hit next. And then you need to log on. Now we've already logged on once, so we just use our previous credentials. If you don't have those, you'll have to create some, and then you hit log on, log in, sorry. And then this is where we are asked to select how we're entering Canada by air, by land, or by marine. We're going to go by land in this example, but just to show you below here, these are links to explanations on a government website. So if you do need more information on any of these topics, please click one of these buttons and it'll take you to a government webpage with explanations where you're clicking by land and then uh, you will need to read through the mandatory travel requirements this is new and it is updated so make sure you look at this all the things that you will need to know have you had a positive COVID-19 test not a negative test but a positive test within 14 to 90 days if no then click no and then it explains all about the molecular COVID-19 test that you will have taken. You acknowledge that you've taken the test and then you go right to this which asks if your travel is exempt and there is a explanation of about what an exempt traveler would be. It is below in the blue. So if you are not exempt, which most people watching this will be, click no. And then your purpose for travel. Now, in this case, all of these examples above, including the family reunification one, are for the most part for people who are not Canadians or permanent residents. Uh, so I would click myself, click no, or sorry, click none of the above. Uh, but then it takes you directly to your port of entry. And we're just going to choose a random location here. And why not Peace Bridge, Fort Erie? This is where we're crossing the land border. And then you pick a date. This is the date that you're going to be arriving at the land border. And you click, we're just going to click March 3rd at 3.39, 3.30. How's that? Click Done. Then move to the next screen by clicking the arrow. 
and then you need to register your travel document and in this case as in the last one we're going to be selecting passport and asks the, we can use the camera go to my passport and it automatically reads it click next is there anyone that I need to add I don't think so go with the next one um, my phone number that will be my pri primary number where they can contact me should they need to and they most likely will so click next after you've entered that and then you need to complete your quarantine plan questionnaire do you have accommodation where you can quarantine for 14 days or possibly longer you should probably click yes with this one can you avoid all contact with other people in the household whom you do not travel and have no guests and I would say yes I can do that and will you have access to the necessities of life including water food medication 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 and etc click yes um, are there at risk people in the location location where you'll be quarantining and I'm gonna say no there are no at risk people there of course if there are at risk people in your location you will need to pick less yes but I'm clicking no and question number five uh, is there a person at the location where you plan to quarantine who works or assists in a facility home or workplace that includes at-risk populations um, nurses etc at long-term care homes that sort of thing I'm going to click no for this one as well because that's the truth click next and then goes to the last question number six is your place of quarantine a group living environment like a group home or senior residence this is not referring to a house with relatives this is re referring to people who are not relatives in a group home like a residence of some sort and we're going to click no that does not apply to me You can always click the full list of examples there just in case you are curious and then your final quarantine location this is where you're going to be staying after you get home now we're going to say the destination type is returning home I'm just gonna click a random address here let's see how about nine 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 and just pick a random spot hmm. there we go how about nine and nine boundary road if somebody does live there I apologize completely at random and then the last step is the COVID-19 self assessment so we check here do we have um, a fever or cough or difficulty breathing click no if that's the truth which it is in my case and that's it and then after you finish all of this you click submit and I will s click submit here so you can see what it looks like and you can edit if you need to but there you go this is your arrive can receipt and you can print this off you can also look at it by going back into the app later on I'll show you what that looks like uh, but this is all you have to do you're now scheduled to arrive in Canada on that date so here you can view your arrive can receipt right there all right so we're going to click by air this time and read through all of these this is mandatory requirements you need to read through this and then click I acknowledge
and then a positive COVID-19 test. Have you had a positive COVID-19 test? If you have had a positive COVID-19 test between 14 and 90 days, you can still enter Canada, but you'll have to show that uh, you have that had that test. Um, and the molecular COVID-19 test explanation, exactly what that means, and you have to acknowledge that you've had this, and you'll have to show proof of that, of course. And is your travel exempt? I'm going to say no. And your the purpose of travel. In my case, it is neither or it is none of these above because I am a Canadian citizen. So I'll click none of the above. And then you enter the airport that you're going to be arriving at. Um, I'm just going to say Montreal Trudeau International Airport. Uh, let's go Air Canada. Flight 777, which I don't think exists. And then the date, we we'll select March third at 3.29. That's the arrival at Montreal Trudeau Airport. And then you need to register your travel document. And in this case, as in the last one, we're going to be selecting passport and asks the, if we can use the camera go to my passport and it automatically reads it Click next is there anyone that I need to add I don't think so go to the next one um, my phone number that will be my pri primary number where they can contact me should they need to and they most likely will so click next after you've entered that and then you need to complete your quarantine plan questionnaire. Do you have accommodation where you can quarantine for 14 days or possibly longer? You should probably click yes with this one. Can you avoid all contact with other people in the household whom you do not travel and have no guests? And I would say, yes, I can do that. And will you have access to the necessities of life, including water, food, medication, 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 and etc. Click yes. Um, are there at risk people in the loca location where you'll be quarantining? And I'm going to say, no, there are no at risk people there. Of course, if there are at risk people in your location, you will need to pick less. Yes, but. I'm clicking no. And question number five, uh, is there a person at the location where you plan to quarantine who works or assists in a facility, home or workplace that includes at-risk populations, um, nurses, etc., at long-term care homes, that sort of thing? I'm going to click no for this one as well because that's the truth. Click next. And then goes to the last question, number six. Is your place of quarantine a group living environment, like a group home or senior residence? This is not referring to a house with relatives. This is re referring to people who are not relatives in a group home, like a residence of some sort. And we're going to click no. That does not apply to me. And then your final quarantine location. This is where you're going to be staying after you get home. Now, we're going to say the destination type is returning home. I'm just going to click a random address here. Let's see. How about 999? And just pick a random spot. 
There we go. How about 999 Boundary Road? If somebody does live there, I apologize. Completely at random. And the last step here is your self-assessment, which we've done already as well. And then you are asked to submit your information here, but I'm not going to submit it this time. Uh, just going to end it right here. Well, there you go. I hope this was helpful. If it was helpful, please hit that like button. If you have any questions, I try to respond as best I can. I'm not an expert necessarily in this. I have studied it a bit, but please ask. I'm more than happy to help where I possibly can. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.